All right, this is going to be a very interesting video about what's going to happen with this oil pan because this thing is extremely pitted, like bad, and it's dented up pieces. I don't know how that would have happened, but I was looking around for like anything to use, like paint wise, and I was like, well, the only thing I have is black paint. So I went over there and looked, and then I'm just like, well, what color should I use? And he's like, you should paint it bright pink. And I said, I don't even think that they make that color. And he said, give me a few minutes. So he came back, and he was laughing. So I knew that he found something. And he showed me a picture of engine enamel that's bright pink on Amazon. He said, if I buy it, will you paint it that color? And I said, yeah, go ahead. And he did. So I guess I'm going to paint my oil pan bright pink. So this is going to be something interesting because I have Ford Blue for my engine, which is this color here. And then I have Primer, which is going to hopefully fill in some of the imperfections of this, even though you're not going to be able to see this. But this is definitely going to be an interesting engine with being blue and pink. Alright, well, here it is. This is the pink paint. What does it say on the top of it? SP756 hot pink. That's it. That's what he bought. And that's what I'm going to be painting that oil pan with. I'm already kind of heating this can because it's kind of frozen, but I'm going to paint this with primer first because it's extremely pitted, so maybe it'll look a little better. But. I'm going to try to do this correctly and let the primer sit before I add this on it. But we cleaned this up the best we could. I ended it with 220 uh, sandpaper. And this is about the best it'll get. Definitely not pretty right now. I'm obviously, I need to find the drain bolt to put in there. But it's extremely pitted. And it's, it's like stained. I don't think I can get the rest of this like rust color out of this. And most of it's just sitting in the pits that I can't get it out with. And, down here it's got that little like cover on it so i'm not even like really trying that hard to clean that up because that cover is just going to sit on it and make it dirty anyways but this is what it looks like before i put primer on it and then eventually i'm going to put paint on it so You'll get that on the next coat. Next coat. I don't want to fill that in just yet. Maybe fill in on the second coat. Here we go. Let's see how much, how much this looks like on. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> oh god. It's gonna be beautiful. It's about as light as I want to go for that first coat, but oh my lord, this color, man. It's ridiculous. Take the paint truck. That's good. Let's go ahead at the bottom. Well, that's wrong direction. The last coat, so I gotta go with the medium coat. A little bit of piece of rust on that part, but it doesn't really matter. Yeah, it's gonna be covered up anyway. Yeah. This side doesn't want to take paint, it doesn't seem like. Oh, 
along with that like primer is very spotty through here. This looks pretty good up here. You're being pretty dang smooth. Is there any other place in here you can see any lighting? Maybe a little bit in here. And, uh, I don't have clear coat for this, but there's pretty much no reason for a clear coat on this. Pretty much it. This is a nightmare, honestly. But I just kind of wonder how this is gonna look when that's painted blue, and then we have a pink pan on it. It's gonna be interesting. So.